now uh, we'll focus uh, a map where this two watt meter configuration is given so if you notice this uh, watt meter one so this is the cc uh, of watt meter one and this is the pc of watt meter one similarly for watt meter two we have the cc and pc and the line voltages uh, from the generating sides are given ea b e c a e b c and uh, at the load side we have a delta connection load so the impedances are given now let's focus what are asked determine phase current so we know that phase current is basically phase voltage over the impedance of the phase so obviously that phase voltage should be equal to line voltage why since it is a delta connection so we can write that vab equal to eab so it was given to it angle zero degree and the impedance for phase a was just 10 so from where we can uh, you know determine the iab and similarly for IBC and ICA we can determine and all our phasor components since in question A it was just a determined phase current so not just magnitude is asked that's why you need to calculate both phase and magnitude so the phase currents has been calculated in question B calculate line current we have used the KCL previously so whenever we have that phase currents so we can you know use that KCL formula previously I have shown you IA equal to IAB minus ICA similarly IBB similarly ICC so using the three formulas we can you know determine the line currents and uh, one more thing you can just use the root theory times why all I am saying that uh, you know that line current equal to phase current multiplied by root theory but you can't just use this why because this is an unbalanced system so I can't just say that line current equal to root theory times of phase current then oh, what phase should I choose what I am saying let's say you want to calculate this phase current IA so you may say this should be root theory multiplied by line current root 3 multiplied by phase current so what phase you choose iab or ica since these are two different because this is an unbalanced phase that's why we can't use that formula we need to use the uh, you know typical uh, kcl because this uh, derivation that is the i line current equal to root 3 times phase current this comes basically from the kcl if you remember whenever we have derived we have used the kcl first so we need to use that kcl from where we can calculate the line currents and in question C it was asked determine power reading of each watt meter so uh, if you notice on the first watt meter so first watt meter this pressure coil is basically reading EAB and the current coil is basically reading IAA so that's why for first watt meter you need to use those two values so this is basically reading eab and ia and then you know the single phase power since it is just composed of single phase all three phases are composed of three single phases and uh, you know that uh, two watt meters are used so anyway so these voltages are being read by the watt meter pressure coils potential coil and this current are being read so then uh, if you use the formula that was you know magnitude multiplied by current magnitude and then cos of the theta v theta v. so you know the formula i'm saying it again formula was vi cos here is a phase angle and this phase angle basically the theta b theta l uh, this sort of expression was written that means this phase difference is basically the difference between the voltage and current so voltage was 0 degree and current was minus 5.55 degree from where you can calculate the power that should be read by the watt meter one and similarly for watt meter two so watt meter two is reading basically here if you notice it is basically reading ecb since this is the positive point so it is basically reading ecb but ebc was given so ebc was given and you need ecb that means you need to reverse it so here uh, ebc was given but potential uh, coil 2 is basically reading ecb that means you need to reverse it and if you uh, plot it so this should be first of all it was 208 minus 120 degree so this could be here right okay let me clear this all okay so uh, we know that our three voltage just like this and this 
so let's say this was our EBC this angle was minus 120 degree and no uh, you know that if we reverse this that means in this direction then it will be 60 degree we have derived this in previous classes so it will give you 60 degree that's why it is 208 60 degree and again if you don't want to calculate in this way then you can use your calculator so in your calculator if you put this value 208 minus 120 degree and then if you give a minus sign in front of that uh, values let's say it is saved in answer then if you uh, observe this value so it will be shown as 208 angle 60 degree so again in another sense i can say this is basically 180 degree added because we know reverse sign means 180 degree shift so if you add the 180 degree in this space it will give you 60 degree so i just shown uh, this calculation in three ways so ecb is found and also it is basically measuring the current icc you can observe in this figure from where you can calculate the watt meter reading this is just like here and uh, if you notice these two values all are positive that means the ratio is positive so we can you know calculate the total power just the sum of these two values so it will give you just like this so in question d it was just asked the uh, you know total power let's see yes calculate total power absorbed by load so this total power is calculated using the two watt meter reading that we have determined in question c and question E, calculate power of space using phase current and resistive element. That means the formula that uh, we have derived in previous uh, lectures, we need to use this formula. So using phase current and resistance, we know that uh, we need to uh, sum all three phases power and then we will be found the total three phase power. And since it is the real power, so we can use this I A B square R on. That means it will basically composed of resistance only. So since uh, uh, at first phase, let's say we have R on. At second phase, we have R two. Third phase, we have R three. So if you use the formula that was I square R. So this is basically phase A B I A B. That means the phase current from A to B. Let me show you. So here I A B. That means the phase current going through the R on similarly IBC growing going through 20 ohm and ICA going through tw uh, 12 ohm so this uh, calculation is basically used here and if you notice here that IAB it was uh, found 20.8 and R1 was 10 similarly R2 15 R3 12 all values are given and if you calculate this value so it will give you a result of 7168.4 watt and this is basically very close to the watt meter value so uh, in this math the total power has been shown in two different ways one is the two watt meter method and another is the you know the typical formula that we have derived in previous classes so thank you i can end it here